What is the first thing that springs to mind when you think of Egypt or the people that live there? The pyramids of Giza? Egyptian artwork? The Sphinx perhaps? Or Cleopatra? Of course, they're all fantastic innovations, but the first thing that comes to mind for me is cats. Many creatures that shared space with the ancient Egyptians were honored. Cats, in particular, occupied a unique place in the hearts and homes of many people in that ancient land. They worshipped a variety of beings, but cats were their favorites. Egyptians were so devoted to their cats that they frequently put their cats' safety ahead of their own. For instance, when a house caught fire, Egyptians would first save their cats before returning to retrieve other personal items. And when their pet cat died, the family would shave their eyebrows to mourn and would continue mourning until their eyebrows grew back. One could naturally wonder why ancient Egyptians adored their cats so much. Well, cats were highly revered by ancient Egyptians for two reasons. First, they protected crops from rodents and second, they were firmly interwoven in their faith and belief systems. After a few felines strayed into agricultural farms in Egypt 10,000 years ago, cats were first domesticated. Ancient Egyptian communities were predominantly agrarian, and they struggled to keep their produce safe from pests such as mice, rats, and snakes. Cats played an important part in ensuring food security at a time when food was scarce and whatever was preserved was preyed upon by rodents. Feral cats were protecting their harvest by preying on scavengers, as ancient Egyptians discovered early on. Many people began offering food for cats to entice them to visit their homes more often. Almost every Egyptian family had cats at one point, which helped keep rodents and other hazards at a way. Both cats and Egyptians benefited from this symbiotic or reciprocal relationship. Cats preferred living with humans because it provided them with surplus food and allowed them to avoid predators such as huge carnivores. Egyptians on the other hand had free pest control. Farmers embraced them since they kept food rodent free. Soon, traveling farmers, peasants, sailors, traders and others brought domestic cats with them wherever they went, which is how cats spread across Egypt. Cats were known to be revered spiritually, in addition to their physical appeal. Many Egyptians, for example, believed that seeing a cat in their dreams meant good fortune was on the way. Cats were also associated with several cults in ancient Egypt. One of Egypt's first deities, for example, was the goddess Mavdit, who resembled a cheetah. She was revered by those seeking protection from dangerous creatures like snakes, as well as those seeking justice. Bastet, however, was the most well-known of all the cat goddesses. Bastet, a half-feline and half-woman, was a caretaker of dwellings and a protector against evil and disease. Because she was also connected with womanhood and fertility, she was highly revered. She was extremely popular and an annual festival in her honor was conducted, which was one of Egypt's largest celebrations. Temple priests had enormous catries and cemeteries where people buried their mummified cats, which was unusual. Bastet was the only feline Egyptian goddess that represented the domesticated cat, despite the presence of other feline Egyptian gods such as Maftit and Sekhmet. To be honest, the ancient Egyptians with their attachment to cats were on a whole other level. The Battle of Pelusium 525 BC, when Persia's Cambyses II defeated Egypt, is the most famous example. Cambyses was reported to have been aware of Egypt's affinity for cats, which he exploited during the conflict. He ordered his warriors to round up as many cats as they could and even to paint cat pictures on their combat shields. 
Several cats led the way as they marched towards Pelusium, while the remainder were held in Persian soldiers' arms. Fearing injuring cats, the Egyptians submitted to defeat and allowed the Persians to take Egypt. Similarly, there were numerous regulations in existence to safeguard cats in ancient times. For example, if a person kills a cat, even accidentally, the sentence is death. Trading and exporting cats to other countries was also prohibited. When cats died, their owners would mummify them and leave food for them. Cats were sometimes buried with their owners to show how much they adored their pets. So, now you know why Egyptians were so fond of their cats. Next time you see one on the street, you may want to treat it with a bit more respect, just like ancient civilizations did thousands of years ago.